It's all about the puppy dogs this week. Work it, make it, do it, makes us harder, better, faster, stronger. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole. If you are new, thanks so much for stopping by. Today I have a lunchbox video for my oldest son, Trey, who is eight. He has nonverbal autism and my youngest son, Waylon, is five in kindergarten. We did a puppy dog themed lunchbox this week and they absolutely loved it. Of course, we had some hits and we had some misses. We always do, but that's all you can do is try again, make note and move forward. Let me bring you in the kitchen and show you what they even ate each day after we packed their lunch Monday through Friday. Good morning, happy Monday, another week of lunches. And I told y'all this was gonna be a dog puppy theme this week. I'm so excited for it. So for breakfast, Waylon is having this peanut butter chocolate puffs. This was less than two bucks, guys, for 12.3 ounces. It's supposed to look like dog food, and they're gonna love it because they love like Reese Puffs. So I put it in a Dollar Tree dog bowl that I washed, of course. I'm gonna put a little bit of Glad Press and Seal on top to make sure this doesn't spill all over. They're gonna take a Premier Protein. This is the one with the oats, so this is a different one. It's about 10 grams less in protein. It's a little bit higher carb because it's got oats in it, but it is really well balanced and I love taking the Premier Protein with them every day for their protein source first thing in the morning. And he's gonna take a banana. For lunch, we're doing hot dogs for Waylon. He loves just regular plain old hot dog. I did heat it up as y'all can see. I'm gonna wrap it in some foil to keep it a little bit warm. Got a little bit of ketchup in these condiment cups I get from Amazon. Then his fruit, he asked for some strawberries. These are the frozen ones from Sam's Club in the big bag. I love those. And then some grapes. I did make some protein cupcakes. I used the PE Science protein powder and then some of this keto-friendly Duncan Hines cake mix, just a little bit of it. It's a recipe, I will link it down below. I definitely overcooked them, lesson learned when working with protein powder. And then it's the Birch Benders icing on top. Yes, a regular Oreo, and then three M&Ms to make it look like a little paw. Underneath, I have some lesser evil popcorn for him, and then he's gonna take a Paw Patrol Danimals smoothie. This is in the mixed berry flavor. And then this is their Nestle Splash I showed y'all last week, but I did print out some labels at Office Depot to make them a little extra fancy. Puppy Dog Pals one. This was only 50 cents a sheet, and I got three labels on a sheet. Free off Pinterest, guys. Just type in free printable water bottle labels for whatever theme you want and send them to your local printer and print them off instead of buying them off Etsy. That's just a little tip and you can make things just a little extra special. For his snack this afternoon, I bought a bunch of these bags off Amazon. Jennifer from The Family Fudge showcased these in one of her lunchbox videos, and I was like, this is great. You can throw this in the washing machine. It's reusable, and I don't have to waste all those Ziploc bags, and of course, Waylon's obsessed with the theme. So we've got a frozen Go-Gurt stick, and of course, keeping with the puppy dog theme, these are the Scooby-Doo, look like Scooby-Doo snacks from Dollar Tree, you can get them from Walmart, Target. I just bought the little thing because we're just doing this for one week right now. And then this is a Jif to go natural peanut butter cup. So just like last week with the alphabet cookies, they can dip their cookies in here, get that protein fat source in the afternoon with more protein with the yogurt. That is what Waylon is taking to school for day one of our puppy dog theme. Trey is taking the exact same thing for breakfast. He's not gonna take any fruit today. He's just gonna take the cereal and the Premier Protein. He's over here all about what's going on. For his lunch, he's gonna be taking a pepperoni dog because he's either hit or miss with hot dogs. He's on an anti-hot dog kick right now, which is fine. So on here, I put a little bit of Classico roasted pasta sauce, some turkey pepperoni, <laughs> and some reduced fat mozzarella cheese from Walmart. I heated it up in the microwave. I'm gonna wrap it in the foil and put it at the bottom like I did for Waylon's. Unlike Waylon's, I am gonna give Trey some grapes on top. He loves fruit, some Chobani peach yogurt, Greek yogurt, and on top, like I mentioned last week, I'm using the People's Keto Sprinkles. This is the rainbow ones. I have the chocolate ones too. They're no anything really good, and Trey's will eat anything if it's got some sprinkles on it. He's also doing a protein cupcake with the Oreo on it and lesser evil popcorn at the bottom. Taking a rubble from Paw Patrol, and this is the soaring uh, strawberry Danimal smoothie. He's got a label as well for Puppy Dog Pals. It's a little different color. And then he's doing the same exact snack with the Jif to go, the cookies, and the frozen yogurt 
for his lunch for first day of puppy theme. 324, let's see what Trey ate on Monday. He drank all his shake and he ate all his cereal for breakfast and then he ate everything out of his little snack bag. For lunch, he ate most of his grapes. He ate all of his protein cupcake. He ate his popcorn and his yogurt, his cup. I don't know where it's at, so it must still be at school. Hopefully they send it back. But he did not eat all or any of his pepperoni hot dog. That's okay. It's hit or miss. Sometimes he does, and he eats. He takes a long time to eat, so lunch isn't that long. But at home, he always comes back and finishes stuff like maybe an hour later. That's all right for Monday. Waylon just walked in the door. Things are feeling a little heavy. I don't have high hopes. This boy and I are going to have to have a chat because I know that his teacher is so busy with all the kids she has in the class. She doesn't have time to like help him out. The boy needs to help himself. He ate all of his snack. He spilled all of his freaking cereal all over the place. You know your girl's going to salvage that and send that again another day. He didn't even open his shake. He didn't touch his banana. So he ate a couple of bites of cereal. Again, I've mentioned last week, sometimes he'll wolf down breakfast. Sometimes he will not eat breakfast consecutive days. It's just like that. Now, as far as the Systema containers, it is sealed, but it does look like it did leak out. Just FYI. Holy snap. So I've got some other ones I have to try and see if they are leak proof, but this one did not pass the test with the frozen strawberries. That's okay. He did eat all of his hot dog, which makes me happy. He probably ate a couple of pieces of his popcorn. He ate all of his protein cupcake. That makes me happy too. So overall, not bad. We're just going to repack things and clean up this hot mess. Yikes. Good morning. Happy Taco Tuesday. Waylon is taking for breakfast a banana. If you watched last week's video, he said he had a rotten banana. So hopefully he eats this because I couldn't fit the whole thing closed in there. And that one's ready to go. These are some waffle sticks I made with the Kodiak cakes mix. I added some sugar-free chocolate chips and they ate those over the weekend this is a like french toast stick waffle maker thing i got off amazon i'll link it down below it was really affordable and it worked perfectly my kids love to dunk rather than eat pancakes and waffles i do have some pure maple syrup and this little condiment container i did wrap it up in some ziploc because i don't trust that Ugh, that would be a hot mess so hopefully that stays intact premier protein banana shake is what he likes to call them for taco tuesday's lunch he's doing nachos just like last week but i made some special tortilla chips using the carb counter carb lean tortillas these are really great as far as macros go for anybody but they are really great tasting just like regular flour tortillas and all i did was use a little bone shaped cookie cutter cut them out put them in the oven i think for 350 or 375 after i sprayed them with some nonstick, put some salt and they crisped up perfectly so i'm hoping that they will enjoy them with some of those tostinos salsa that i used last week the cheese dip he's got some grapes with a little dog pick and another one of those protein cupcakes that i made with the oreos on top he's taking a another danimal smoothie in the strawberry flavor and then we have new labels today for paw patrol again that i printed off of free interest and just sent them to office depot cannot get any easier and he's been raving about the water bottle labels he's loving it his snack today we have a chase cheese stick they sell the paw patrol cheese sticks at walmart and at target and when dixie i think i got these from because they've been sold out due to ida still a frozen gogurt yogurt and then he found these at family dollar when we went the other day so check your family dollar and dollar general they were in a pretty big pack i think for three dollars and this is the paw patrol power up kids trail mix snacks and this is a strawberry they had another flavor but he wanted the strawberry one so it's like little dried strawberry pieces some yogurt covered raisins m ms pretzels in there I think he's going to like them. He picked it out. Trey is also taking the waffle sticks, but he's taking three. And instead of maple syrup, he's using the Lakanto syrup. I love that syrup for him. He loves it. And I have some left on hand. So until I convert him over to the maple with Waylon, he's going to finish that up that we have in the pantry. He's going to have some frozen blackberries. He loves those. And for lunch, he's doing the exact same thing. I will tell you though, a little funny story. Y'all see like the cupcake remnants over here. I pack their lunches. Y'all ask all the time how I have time for this. 
I pack what I can the night before. As soon as they get off the bus, I put containers in the sink and I go ahead and get new ones out and start packing for the next day. And I had these out on the counter and um, he busted into his cupcake when I wasn't looking yesterday. So that's why we got a little bit of icing on some of his tortilla chips. He's also gonna take a Danimal smoothie. He's got a rubble. I think he had rubble yesterday too. He's got his water. And then for snack, he's also doing one of those Power Up Kids trail mixes. He's not real, he's hit or miss with string cheese, so I didn't put one in his bag, but he loves the yogurt. got off the bus, let's see what he ate on Tuesday. Clearly, my kids hate Taco Tuesday. They are loving that nacho combination. The chips were a win, that makes me happy. I can't wait to see if Waylon enjoyed them as well because that's definitely a better version and pretty damn easy, I will say. It's not complicated at all. And I knew Trey was not gonna eat his pretzels out of the trail mix, but it looks like he ate everything else. Got my little pick back, that makes me happy. And he did eat his waffle sticks. He's hit or miss with those sometimes, but it was a win. So Tuesdays are usually our best day so far. Waylon just got home. Let's see what he ate on Tuesday. Clearly he hated his snack, unless it's in here, he ate it all. And this little turd, I'm telling you, he does not like any of the other flavors. His banana milk, he loves the banana one, is the only one that he likes. One of y'all made a comment about the boys getting too much protein throughout the day, that they only need like 19 grams of protein per day. I find that to be very low, and I don't believe that at all. I mean, think about if they're eating chicken nuggets and certain things with protein. They're getting well over 19 grams of protein, not intending to do a high-protein diet, and they're not on a specific diet. And they don't drink these every single day, and sometimes this is the most protein that they're getting. And I think that protein is good for them. He did not eat his banana. He probably said it's rotten. We'll have a chat about that later. He ate half of one of his sticks. I figured he wasn't gonna eat much for breakfast again. He got that in versus the other, happy about it. He ate like half of his chips, he ate all of his protein cupcake, he ate half of his cheese and half of his grapes, drank his Danimals. So that is a win for me. Y'all know he is five. He does have like a really healthy appetite, even compared to uh, Trey, which is eight. But sometimes he's just not feeling it, but that is all right. So he got enough in him today and we're gonna be doing snack and dinner too. So they get plenty of macronutrients, y'all don't be worried. Good morning, happy hump day. Let's see what Mr. Whalen's taking to school today. Breakfast on repeat from Monday, he's taking a banana milk because he seems to really like that one the best and he's taking more dog food. That's the same cereal from Monday I put in a Ziploc bag. We're gonna see if he's gonna eat it today. For his lunch, he is doing some of the Paw Patrol Kraft macaroni and cheese. I did prime the thermos on boiling hot water and then poured it out and then put the food in. Keeps it piping hot until lunchtime and they eat lunch pretty early. This is one of the containers from the System of Lunchbox. This is some blue jello. This is the sugar-free blue raspberry jello from Starburst and it's supposed to look like dog bowl water. He's got a Danimals smoothie with Marshall on there. I've been trying to give them different characters each day. Speaking of Marshall, he has a Marshall's cheese stick. And in his little snack bag, these are the little smaller ones and the bigger ones I've been showing you. And they're reusable. You can put them on the top rack of your dishwasher, in the washing machine, like really, really cool. I've got a little bit of Cheez-Its in here and all these Cheez-Its have little paw prints on them or they have little dog bones. These are coming from the Cheez-Its Scooby-Doo snack. So yes, I did pick out the paw prints and the bones and then save the Scooby ones in a Ziploc bag for later. I know, I'm that person. I did that. His snack, he's gonna do a applesauce unsweetened by great value, a pack of raisins, he's really been liking raisins, and a frozen Go-Gurt yogurt stick. Did do some different water bottle labels today for Paw Patrol. These are free off Pinterest. You can see they're not perfect, but I mean, it'll get the job done. And if you just do one sheet at Office Depot in color for me anyway, it's just 50 cents. I'm telling you guys, get the free printables, print those out. He's got a spoon slash fork in there for his Jello. He's got one in his thermos too and a napkin to round out hump day. Trey's taking the exact same thing as Waylon. No fruit, he's just gonna eat his cereal and he's taking one of the Premier Protein with the oats again. This one has a little less protein but it's got a little bit more um, carbohydrates in it for him first thing in the morning. His snack today is gonna be some late July organic peanut butter mini crackers. Get those from Thrive Market and a frozen yogurt stick. For his lunch, he's not a big fan. He goes in phases where he likes the mac and cheese, where he doesn't. He's in a no mac and cheese phase right now. So we're doing homemade 
pizza lunchables now i've been trying these on the boys on the weekends and at nights for dinner and they are obsessed i'm so glad i found a replacement y'all know the first week of the lunches we were struggling and these are the non rounds you can get these at target walmart I took a cookie cutter and i just made the shape of a bone a dog bone on there on two and i did toast these up a little bit just so they'd be more firm and this is the large system uh, lunch box if you're wondering compared to the other one I've been showing you guys. I'll link it down below. Down here I've got four containers, one with some reduced fat mozzarella, regular sharp cheddar, some classico pasta sauce, and in here I've got some turkey pepperonis that I use little dog cutters and little bone cutters to make his pepperonis. I saved all the excess pepperoni and they ate it last night on their rounds. So we didn't have any go to waste. This was a little time consuming. Like I mentioned yesterday, I do most things the night before. He has some sugar free jello for his dog water as well. He has a coconut built bite down there, which I think is just seven grams of protein, but he absolutely loves those. They're like a healthy candy bar. And here in his little pop-up things, which are pretty convenient and cool, but they're not like leak leak proof so keep that in mind we have some frozen blackberries just a few of them there and that clicks in and he also has some of the cheeses with the paws and the bones on there a danimal smoothie and one of his splash waters with his we just got home let's see what the damage is we've got a winner on our hands we've got an empty lunch one little thing he ate his breakfast he ate all of his snack those pizzas with those non rounds don't sleep on them y'all that is the next best thing to those freaking lunchables that the kids are obsessed with he ate everything except for his cheez-its so i tried the cheez-its on him last night actually and he's not a fan he's more of a goldfish man and waylon loves cheez-its he loves goldfish too but he can devour some cheez-its but trey he's not a fan of those so note to self no cheez-its for trey Waylon did not eat his banana. Y'all saw me insert that later. He ate uh, maybe a few pieces of his dog food cereal. He did drink half of his Premier Protein Shake, so that's fine. He's like on an anti-banana kick right now. I don't know what's going on because usually the boy eats like a bushel and a half of bananas. He ate all of his snack. He ate all the little things I packed in his lunch in his little snack bag. He had his Jello, and he told me that mom lunch was awesome as far as his mac and cheese. So for both boys, I say we did pretty darn good for this good morning happy thursday let's see what waylon's taken today for puppy dog theme he's got a banana milk he's got some pure maple syrup and i had exactly four of the waffle sticks left for his lunch i made pepperoni pizza rolls so using crescent dough cheese sticks mini pepperonis and a little bit of pasta sauce and a mold i made these little paw print pizza bombs basically they love this kind of stuff i'm just hoping they'll eat it with trey doesn't care if they're cold or hot waylon does so we'll see he's got a marshall cheese stick more of those scooby-doo cheese it's some sliced apples with a little dog pick and then i have just a few left of those protein cupcakes i'm trying to get rid of with his lunch he's got to have a marshall smoothie by danimals and then we've got the puppy dog pal label on his water today for his snack he's got a frozen gogurt stick some more of the paw patrol trail mix he loved that so i know he's going to enjoy that again and i wasn't going to bless you waylon i wasn't going to throw in this but i thought why not put it in an applesauce for him just in case he was a little extra hungry today i always like to pump the fruit in them when i can so that is what waylon is taking for puppy dog theme thursday trey's taking the exact same thing he took the other day with the lacanto syrup i did add blackberries to his and he's doing the premier protein chocolate peanut butter today for snack, he's doing some cheddar goldfish. We've got one of those sugar-free fruit cups from Sam's and a frozen gogurt stick. For his lunch, he has the exact same thing as Waylon as far as his main meal. He's doing some of the Simply Doritos. These are the ones that are better uh, for you chips. If you're gonna pick a chip option, they love the Simply Cheetos too. You can get them at Sam's Club in a big bag. We've got some grapes with a little dog pick and he's got another protein cupcake as well. Gonna be taking a Chase Danimal smoothie and he's got his yellow puppy dog pals label for Trey his. just made it home from school. Let's see if the pizza bombs were a hit or a miss. He ate all his snack, he ate all his breakfast, but he did not touch his little pizza things. And that makes me sad because he's been eating them at night, but they probably got cool. He, they like these things sometimes fresh out the oven. I probably should have wrapped it in some foil. Note to salt for next time, seeing if Waylon likes them. I also have some extra that I made that we're going to have for dinner. So I'll update you guys and let you know if they ate them that way. But they've eaten them just crescent style and not like shaped wise. That might be a thing for Trey too. 
He ate the frosting off of his cupcake today, but he didn't eat the cupcake. I did get my pick back, so we did have, uh, what do we have in here? I don't even remember, but he ate everything else. Waylon ate almost all of his breakfast. He left one little bite, so happy about that. He's been drinking about half of these per day, and they're, they go bad after they get hot. And y'all know these aren't cheap by any means. So I think I'm going to buy him like a reusable juice box container thing and just fill it up halfway. And that way we can stretch that a little bit longer because he does like them, he said. He's just not one. He's filling him up with his breakfast. So that's totally fine. So I'm going to start doing that. I got to find one. He did awesome. He ate almost all of his cupcake. He did good on his apples. Not a big fan of the skin, as you can see, where all the nutrients are whaling. Come on. But he did like his little pizza bombs. He said they were yummy and awesome. Ate all this snack. These bent go boxes. I left the box out to show y'all. I got these off of Kohl's. They have them on Amazon. You can get them at Walmart. I will try to link them down below. But this is the bent go fresh leak proof lunch box. Holds that much right there. I like this one because you can take this little divider out or you can leave it in and it holds a lot of food versus the one that you see everybody using that's got the little dipper thing. I had that one for Trey way back when and it is super small. So these are really nice too. Too. If you don't want to get the Systema ones, y'all know the Systema ones aren't leak proof in my opinion anyway. These are. They they do not steer you wrong. And this thing comes out and you can wash it in the dishwasher, top rack, and all that good stuff. And, you know, for the price, they last. They do last a long time and they are a little pricey, but for leak proof versus the Systema, I'll take it. I do like the Systema ones, but if you're putting something in here that you know is going to be liquidy, go with this. TGIF, happy Friday, y'all. So what is Waylon taking today for our last day? For breakfast, I did pack this Paw Patrol. We already had this cup with some of his banana milk, the Premier Protein. I did order some of those old school like Rubbermaid ones, the juice containers with the flip top. If you know, you know, way back in the day. They're hard to find now and they're freaking hella expensive. Like what is going on? I'm, I'm just getting old y'all, but I bought a four pack and they should be coming next week. But until then, we're gonna use that. Got his dog food cereal in his bowl today. I did pack a banana. We've got a bunch that are on their last leg. If he eats it, if he eats it, if not, it's no big deal. He's got his Paw Patrol water label today. For his lunch, we're using the Systema lunchbox today. I know I kind of like talked bad about them yesterday with leakage, but I do love them for other things. Like I do. I have one of his spoons slash forks in here I got from Amazon, an Everest Paw Patrol cheese stick. We do peanut butter and jelly of some sorts on Friday to make my life easy. And they love these little mini waffle peanut butter and jellies. This is my sugar-free homemade jam I make. I have a recipe here on my YouTube channel. And then my boys just love plain old crunchy peanut butter. And this is the one I got from Thrive Market. It's just peanuts and salt. And then he's got some of his Scooby-Doo cheese it some grapes and some of his dog bowl water jello that was the last of that for his snack i put the last of the little scooby-doo cookies that i had filled it with a little bit of those alphabet cookies from the dollar general and he has a gif to go natural to dip in they're loving that for a snack in the afternoon i love that they're getting some fats protein in the afternoon and not just straight up carbs strawberry applesauce trey is taking the exact same thing for breakfast minus the banana and he's taking the cinnamon roll flavor premier protein for his lunch i had a mom fail i meant to put some gogurts in the freezer and i didn't i wanted that to be for a snack but it's not going to be cold in time for snack time so it's going in his lunch box waylon also got a danimal smoothie i forgot it when i packed it and i was like oh snap let me go get that so he did get one too he's got grapes and then he's got some lesser evil popcorn down there the rest of the dog water jello <laughs> and then he's got his four little waffle pb and j sandwiches down there for a snack, he's got the exact same thing Waylon had, except for I just packed some goldfish. I didn't know what else to pack. No other fruit's going to stay cold by the time they do snack time. And his teacher is good about like if he doesn't want both things, he'll put his snacks away in a container and they'll use them throughout the day for like incentive and manipulatives. My, my autism mommies and daddies out there, you know what I'm talking about. So he sometimes eats it all, sometimes he doesn't and it gets saved and used for another day. So that's all good. And then he's got his Paw Patrol water bottle label as well. Trey's home from Friday. Let's see what he ate. Drank his shake. Didn't eat much of his cereal. They've been hit or miss on that. Ate all of his snack. 
I cannot believe he left this behind because he has been loving this and was all about me making them this morning. But he's been kind of like not that hungry the past couple of days. I don't know what's going on. No fever, no sick. So I don't know. But he ate everything else. So that's okay if he left it behind. No worries. Let's see what way we ate. He drank a little bit of his banana milk. He has not been hungry in the mornings, hence why he hasn't been eating breakfast. Either he's a morning eater or sometimes he's just anti-breakfast altogether ate all his snack and I was kind of like asking him about his breakfast he said mom check out my lunch and he ate all of his lunch his lunch is gone y'all he said it was good they love most of the time trade any today but most of the time they love any type of waffle PB and J so that's this week's lunchbox video if you enjoyed this puppy dog theme week please give it a huge thumbs up and if you are new make sure to hit that subscribe button with all the bells down below we are starting and kicking off all things Halloween next week moving forward until November then we'll be doing some fall theme lunches, but I've got so much up my sleeve, so many ideas, and I am so excited for it. I think sometimes I get a little bit more excited than the kids do. Thank y'all so much for watching today's video. Y'all let me know down below what your favorite part of this puppy dog theme lunchbox video was, and we'll see you next week with our first edition of Halloween lunchboxes. Y'all have a great weekend, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.